You remember a few weeks ago I said that I was doing something super secret? I'm doing this super secret thing. Well, I don't live here anymore. I live here now. Check this out. What is this? Huh? What happened there? I'll tell you what happened there. That coral light switch just came on because a present sensor over there just saw me. Now, uh, there isn't everything done yet, but uh, this is my temporary studio space. Look at that. Sexy. Very, very sexy. Um, and uh, this is nuts, right? So, if I walk over here, the lights behind me just went off. <laughs> because I'm no longer in that zone. And this coat rack just came on instead. And now, if I walk down here like this, the stair lights come on just because I entered the staircase. And then, as I come to the bottom of the stairs, into here, I might just literally take two steps off. The dining room lights come on. Where's the dining room? And, and then if we come over here, let's, look, 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 I just literally crossed this threshold. I'm gonna go sideways like a crab. <gasps> oh. <laughs> over in the kitchen! And then if I go back in, look, look, look! Preposterous! Relatively <laughs> preposterous! And now I go in the living room. Wait, I'm just gonna walk in the living room. The living room lights come on. And if I go over here to where I intend to put a record player, <laughs> the record player section comes on. That's my AV cabinet. And then the light just came on because I'm over here. Let's take a few steps back away from it. It turns off. It turns off. Look. Look at this beautiful place. I have fitted light switches all over this house, and I'm going to talk about them throughout this video. But it's not just light switches, there is a whole bunch of things that have been connected up and plugged in, and cameras, and presence sensors, and heating controls. We're going to talk about all that good stuff. I just. <laughs> I just go. I can, I can walk backwards and forwards between these two sections all day long. On. Beflipping leavable. Thanks to Akara for sponsoring today's video and for sending me an absolutely insane amount of smart home gear. I've got door sensors, vibration sensors, water leak sensors, a video doorbell, radiator thermostats, and relays. And I've been using Home Assistant for years. And during that time, I've created everything from security alarm systems that talk to burglars There's a wanker in the dining room to sexy time buttons that dim the lights and start smooth jazz playlists because God only knows, the biggest turn on for a woman is... you know... BESPOKE CONFIGURATION DOT YAMMON FIRES! But the thing is with that though, is that almost all of those things are now broken. Because Home Assistant is the worst kind of Tamagotchi pet imaginable. If you don't just constantly give it attention, it dies. Um, so it got me thinking, well, could I just get one supplier? One single supplier that does like everything and do away with Home Assistant altogether? Well, it's pretty close. This Akara Zigbee gateway allows me to connect my light switches directly to Amazon Alexa and Google Home and Apple HomeKit, which is awesome. And a sleepy dime face when you don't want it to look at you. Don't look at me. Oh. <laughs> I'm shy. Probably most importantly, it also acts as the go-between between, between my light switches and Akara's presence sensors. I don't think it would be Hibbert Home Tech though if I didn't tell you some of the challenges you might face when taking on something like this. And so my first challenge was this monstrosity. This four gang light switch was actually responsible for almost all of my downstairs lighting. And at first glance, you might think that's quite difficult to swap out for a smart home light switch. But if you look really closely at it, you'll realize it's in fact a complete and total bastard. Aside from the fact that it has 14, yes, 14 wires sticking out the back of it, it's a four gang light switch. And guess, boys and girls, guess what Akara don't make? Four gang fucking light switches! 
That's right, Mr. Socky. I don't need the expletives, thank you. Four f***ing gang light switches. And so I figured I will just change this four gang light switch into two two gang light switches, because Akara make those, and by me, I mean a qualified electrician, who would then spend four hours chiseling the cavity of my brickwork to make my cavity bigger. Stop it. Then he would have to rewire the light switch. No, thank you. <laughs> and my junction box. Double no, thank you. And I think it's worth saying that I actually managed to replace all of the other light switches around the house, bar one, which I had to get my dad to do. So, big shout out to my dad. Think of us a not enough yachts, dad. <laughs> yeah, not enough yachts. Not enough yachts. What has any of this got to do with Home Assistant? I hear you cry. Don't worry, this video is not a bait and switch, I promise. This is a bait and switch. I, there may be a few show of hands to get the cute chuckles you're getting. Linda Yaccarino there. Don't worry if you don't know who she is. Neither does Elon Musk. Once you've got your mains lights installed in your wall and paired to your gateway, you can now start to pair things like remote switches. In my case, I've used one of these remote switches to cover over the switch at the top of the stairs, which was part of the two-way setup for the four-gang switch. What I did was, I asked the electrician, can you just decommission this switch altogether and then bundle all the wires together, and what I'm going to do is put a remote over the top of it. And he said yes. Um, you have to be a bit creative, I have to say, because the thing doesn't come with screw holes in it. I drilled them in the right place and then screwed it to the wall. Loves your uncle. It looks awesome. And the Akara ecosystem is awesome. I think this is part of my point about, do I really need Home Assistant? Because it's so simple to set things up, like, in this case, if I wanted to pair the remote switch to the switch downstairs, it's a simple case of creating something that says, if I press the left button, then make a thing happen on the four gang switch. It's that simple. And the Akara presence sensors are awesome. If you didn't see my previous video, basically, you can just draw shapes in your room that actually are the outline of the areas that you want to trigger, and then when you walk into those areas, different things happen. But the amazing thing with this is, it doesn't just work in the Akara ecosystem. I can actually start Amazon Alexa routines using those borders too. So if I go and sit on my sofa, inside that border is a routine that will trigger Amazon Alexa to turn my TV on because I have a smart TV. So every time I sit down, smart TV comes on. Genius. And then there is the home security system that is built directly into the Akara app. This is so much easier to use than Home Assistant, and I know because I have done so extensively. If you go and watch my previous video on my home alarm system in Home Assistant, it did all sorts of cool things. It made lights go red, and it made things flash, and it scared burglars by talking to them through Amazon Alexa. I repeat, Mr. Sutton is on the loose. You are in great danger. But it's a Tamagotchi, and it broke. Akara now let you pair your radiator thermostats to external temperature sensors so that you're not affected by the heat of the radiator itself. I have gone the whole hog around this entire house and now have pinpoint accuracy. Sometimes I like to put phrases into AI art generators to see what comes out. I could have swore I put in the whole hog. Not Jeff Bezos. Akara also do these really nice e-ink based tea box sensors. Illogical. I said tea box, not too. The t box sensor does air quality as well as things like temperature, and just like the temperature sensor, can be paired to the radiator thermostats to get pinpoint accuracy there too, which is awesome. So, Home Assistant fans, am I am I doing away with Home Assistant for good? No. Here's why. Before I tell you the reasons I'm going to have to keep Home Assistant regardless, I want to tell you this. I intend to stick with the Akara ecosystem as much as humanly possible. That will be my go-to for controlling this house. I don't ever want to touch Home Assistant again if I can help it. I will, however, have to create some automations in Home Assistant that will be set and forget and leave them, and this is the reason why. Akara don't do everything. Akara don't do, for example, GU10 light bulbs. They don't do dimmer switches. 
This means that in my dining room, if I want to dim the side lights, I have to turn the lights on using the Akara switch, but then I have to use a separate Zigbee bulb and control the Zigbee bulb to dim the level or to change the color. And in doing this, I use Home Assistant and I use a company called Ajax's light bulbs. And I have to give a massive shout out to Ajax here because their Zigbee GU10s are the best I have tried. I had these things three years ago. I used them in my old house. And when we moved, I took them with me here because they are the best on the market and you won't get better. Ajax are gonna send me 32 more of these things to put in all of my ceilings. So keep tuned for that. Again, maybe maybe you should subscribe. There isn't much a car I don't do, but here is a short list in case you're interested. They don't do UK plug sockets, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. They don't do outdoor cameras other than the Akara doorbell, which again is a bit of a pain. They don't yet do a siren for their alarm system. So if you wanted a siren on the outside of your house, you're gonna have to rely on your existing one. And I think this is super important. You should anyway. Don't rely on a smart alarm system, particularly not one in Home Assistant. It will eventually let you down. I've said it before and I'll say it again, start your smart home with Akara if you haven't already. If you haven't started a smart home, Akara is Apple HomeKit compatible. If you ever decide you wanna to go to the dark side, good, good. Their video camera system, including the doorbell, which is external, is actually one of the fastest that I have tried. And again, works with Apple HomeKit as well as all the others that you would expect. Almost everything runs locally, so even if your internet connection goes down, all of your automations should still work. And if Akara went bust tomorrow, I've said this before, you would be able to move all of their stuff into Home Assistant anyway. There are very few products on the market that you can just back up like that. And finally, the camera systems are subscription free and still record to the cloud. Uh, no other camera system does that for free. Akara's stuff, it just streams to the cloud. I think it's like seven seconds of footage whenever there is motion. You can opt to use an SD card and record 24 seven if that's what you wanna do, but the fact that you can stream to the cloud for seven seconds at a time and pay them nothing at all is just phenomenal and there is nothing else like it on the market. As the Philips Hue fanboys like to say, it just works. What do you guys reckon? Should I have just stuck with Home Assistant and battled away with it until the end of time. And let me know in the comments. I'm, I'm sure you people have a very strong opinion. I will rip off your face and eat it in front of your children! In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, it's thanks to these incredible people running up your screen. These are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, there would be no video. I would still be working in a call center. If you want to be one of those incredible people, you can do that on either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal. And by the way, I would genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams and my TikToks. Them things. Come and hang out. We'll, we'll, we'll be friends. See you next time. <laughs> in fact, pretty much everything Akara makes is in fact Zigbee. Lots of in facts there. Paul, Joe. Maybe say that sentence with less in facts. <laughs> in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, 